in Paris. You can't expect me to wear that. Since when do you care about fashion? I thought that was only for silly girls. For God's sake, Gingham. I look like Hansel and Gretel. You've been looking a bit too... provocative. Provocative? I don't even wear a bra yet. Mm, maybe you should. You don't want men to get the wrong idea about you. First I'm not doing enough to get a man, now I'm trying too hard. Just wear the dress, will you? It'll keep away the wrong sort of attention. I'm so glad Foggy Jack doesn't live down there. I better finish that batch of Blackberry Joy, or the whole world's gonna freak out. I love you, Bill. The eyes of God, Dotty. I'm glad. It's all dark. Get some sleep, Bill. I love you. I'll sleep now. Goodbye, Bill. What did you do? <gasps> you wouldn't understand. You've never really loved a man. You gave him something else, didn't you? I'm going back to the village now. There are some things I won't need anymore. I buried them behind this house. You don't mind getting your hands dirty, do you? Just like childbirth, you barely remember the misery.
Mrs. Pankhurst has a shop. How long has she had a shop? I shouldn't be surprised. That woman could sew a wedding suit for an octopus. Don't you look well? Hello, Miss Boyle. Usual. Sorry, I'm just so picky these days. How have you been? You know, I think we wear the same size. Mrs. Pankhurst, how have you been? Couldn't be better. I was having dizzy spells, but they've gone away. Isn't that wonderful when things just sort of cure themselves? I've been meaning to go visit the reform club, but my old outfit, uh, I seem to have filled out a bit since then, if you can believe that. Oh, remember when I made you that lovely nurse's uniform? For the Reform Club? You know, I've always wanted to visit there. Wanda's such a good friend of mine, but she never tells me what goes on there. I imagine they drink tea and discuss how to reform government and things like that. Sort of. Not exactly. Could you wangle me an invitation? I keep asking my friend Wanda and she always promises, but somehow it's always next week. I ought to be able to manage that. If you could get me an invitation, I'd be ever so thrilled. We could go together. Or come by when you've got one. Your new outfit should be done by then. I wish I'd learned to sew. Well, I don't wish it. I'd probably have become a seamstress like Mum. of the smelly darkness into, well, not that much better. Lovely day for it, Miss Spoil. 
lads have uh, grown quite concerned about the lack of blackberry in their diet. Then they're in luck. I've made quite a bit of it, and it's all for you, lads. Ho, ho, ho! Won't the lads be delighted? I hope you will accompany me to the station forthwith. Um, the lads have, um, prepared a little merriment to show our gratitude. Hold you for a bit, right? And Miss Boyle will be sure to synthesize her blackberry on time next time, so we don't have all this awkwardness. After all, with all you lads are going through, who knows how long this batch will last? Not as long as the last one, I'll wager. How many times did I nearly get myself killed for this patch? Gwen, we have got to get out of this goddamn town. No, no. It's a rat. You're a rat. You have to be a rat. It's just a silly feeling. I'll go home and make sure she's all right. I'm sure she's fine. It's just one rat where it shouldn't be. Oh, God. My feet are killing me. how mommy feels. She's not allowed to hurt to anyone. Not even you. Aren't you hungry, darling? We'll get across to the mainland. I just haven't got the faintest fucking clue how. But I bet there are still cows out there. Or goats. Won't be this awful stuff mummy proves. And a cute little runny nose. And a rash that keeps getting worse. Oh, and a fever. Dear Lord, please don't let it be measles. of measles. How the hell do I treat it? Where the fuck am I getting at cod liver oil?
could live at oil. Yes, Dr. Verloc does have some. But he's pretty pissed off at Mummy right now. But I'll die if I don't get cod liver oil. All right, all right. I'll go and see him. Maybe he's calmed down. Maybe. Christ, I haven't been to Hayworth Lab since I started showing. This is not going to be fun. Walk the piping in the treetop When the bow bends, the cradle will rock When the bow breaks, the cradle will fall And down will come baby cradle and all Don't forget to take your joy. And the weather report is rain, rain, go away. Go away, come back again some other day. But smiles out there is strictly forbidden. <laughs> it's sort of ironic I became a chemist, considering what Mum did, if you think about it. Miss Boyle? Look, if you're still mad about that incident with the, um, tea cozy. Oh, no. I need your assistance. It's sort of private. I've heard there's a fake pill that makes you look like you've had joy. Silly rumours. I sort of need one. Why would you want to go off your joy? It's for Beatrice. Well, it's sort of for me. You're going to slip it to her? It's just... If you're tired of her, break things off like a man. No, I love her. It's just, well... Ever since we started seeing each other, she says she loves me. But she loves everything. Me, long walks, sunsets and rainbows, of course. Simon says, big wristwatches on a man, wrapping paper, dandelions, a good night's sleep, ribbons, Uncle Jack's bedtime stories, six o'clock. Commemorative spoons! I have to know if it's real. She'd be a downer, even if it's temporary. The moment she tells me the truth, I'll give her a real joy. Promise. Are you sure you want the truth? You used to be very interested in my mojo recipe. A dab a day keeps the doctors away, remember? Yes, I remember. And that would be handy. All right. The recipe? I'll give it to you tomorrow, after I see Beatrice. Oh, what's wrong, dear? The girls are so beastly. And they tell such vile lies. <sighs> How did you provoke them? How did I? <laughs> you act superior and keep to yourself when because you're not... Because I don't sit around with them smoking and gossiping about boys and teachers. You spend all your time with the boys in Rocket Club. They'll probably think you're trying to poach their boyfriends. They don't even have boyfriends. 
Sally, dear. Boys, aren't you real friends? Now, just after one thing, if you don't have girlfriends, you won't have any friends at all.